Hey, court reporters, welcome back to my channel. Listen, um, Tom Schwartz was caught at the airport by TMZ and they uploaded a video of their interaction with him. And one thing that really stood out to me was how he all but admitted that he has not been checking in on Raquel since she's been persecuted all over the internet for the scandal that took place. That is very interesting to me because his whole purpose this season is to soak the flames of the idea of him like having a fling with Raquel and whatnot and making out with her and everything despite his ex-wife Katie's wishes. So, you know, he was talking about, oh, we're close, we're this, we're that, I like Raquel and whatnot. And now Raquel needs you, Tom. And what does Tom Schwartz do in typical Tom Schwartz fashion? He cowers. He does not rise to the occasion. Instead, he is right there by his true soulmate, Tom Schwartz's, I mean, sorry, Tom Sandoval's side. Let's take a look at the interview and discuss it together, shall we? Hey, what's up, Tom? How are you doing today? How's everything going? It's okay. Okay, okay. What should, what should we know to? Where are you flying to? I wish we could be meeting under more auspicious circumstances. I know, right? <laughs> Last time it was my divorce, and now it's yeah. Scandal. I know, I know, right? <laughs> Hopefully next time it's like something you? better, you know? Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. How's, how's Tom holding up since everything um, else? He's okay, I think. He's okay? okay. Relatively speaking, I mean, uh -huh. he's just, he has a sense of profound sadness. Okay. Rightfully so. Yeah. I think he feels like a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and to some extent, maybe oh. he is, but he knows he fucked up. Yeah. I, I like how he like says, listen, to some extent, yeah, maybe he is a POS because it's, it's true and it's true for sure. Yeah, I know, still. I know. How do you feel about it? I, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought the whole thing was fake for the show, oh, but like yeah. now that everything is just like building up, it looks real. Like, this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but luckily, um, Ariana has a really good support system. Okay. And um, she's with her friends. I'm not sure where she is, but. Yeah. I hope she's living the good life. Yeah. Just indulging. I hope she goes on a living spree. Okay. And um, yeah, I'm just hoping this whole thing blows over. You know? I do also enjoy the way that he says, listen, Ariana, she's got a good support system. And I hope that she is doing her best to indulge and like um, enjoy what she can out of life in this moment. He's not all up uh, Sandoval's ass and not doing anything to acknowledge Ariana, similar to Tom Sandoval's first apology, where he doesn't even acknowledge her at all. Like that at least is nice. You know? yeah, same here. How's, how about Raquel? How she's holding up? We should let him talk to her. But here's the thing. He didn't say that he has reached out to her or anything like that. And same with Raquel. Raquel when's the last time you talked to her? I haven't seen her or talked to her since this whole thing started. Okay. Um, yeah. She's uh, really unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people think you, you knew about the whole thing that was going on. Um, Did you know anything about it? I prefer not to talk about that at the uh -huh. time. I mean, you'll see it play out on the show. Yeah. I hate that. It's such like a cliche thing to say. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Did he ever mention anything about her? Like, did you see I mean, him hanging out late night? I maybe just, him going out to. It's fucking complicated. Yeah. Um, that's the understatement of the year. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, I'm hanging in there. I think mm. Tom's okay. Okay. I haven't talked to him um, today, but yeah. yeah. What about? What do you think about Sheena? And then when it cow, comes like, to. Hey, Tom Sandoval, he's been talking to him. He's been checking in on him, on his man this whole time. It's just today that he hasn't spoken to him. But it was like, um, you know, early afternoon. Like, sure enough, he was going to text him a little bit later when he was done with all the, like, flight stuff. Her whole, I have to, I haven't talked she to her claiming about it. it didn't happen. Yeah, I haven't talked to her happen. about it. I haven't talked to she. Yeah. yeah. But um, really, I'm just sad, you know, mm -hmm. about the negative impact it's having on our business. Yeah. But I think um, cooler heads will prevail. Yeah. And um, yeah. I think it's good. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, I think it's good, good for the ratings. Like the well, ratings I mean, are up. That's the obviously. last thing I'm thinking about is ratings. Yeah, I'm just yeah. worried about Ariana, but I know she has a really good support system. Okay. A lot of friends and family who love All her. All right. Lala and uh, other cast members are saying the kiss, you kissing her was to like cover up their. <laughs> no, that's not true. So that's that's not no. true. <laughs> no. Unless I was just a pawn in the game. No, okay. Sure. So it just it just happened. Like it was never. <laughs> we and Mikhail, well, I don't know how much I'm going to talk about it. But... Mm -hmm. huh. Anyway, okay. maybe I'll skirt over that. All right. All right. So there's where it ends. You know, he's sad about like the impact on the business. So that still is negatively impacting. People no longer want to go to their restaurant because they're upset with Tom Sandoval and what it is that he's done to Ariana. So is that interesting to you guys as well that Schwartz has not checked in on Ariana or on Raquel? Because remember, at his wedding to Katie, 
he had Ariana as one of his best men. So like you would think that they had a close relationship and like they've been friends all these years. So how do you not check in on her? You just go, oh, she's got a strong support system. She'll be all right. Like this guy is a friend to nobody outside of Tom Sandoval. And same thing with Raquel. Like he and Raquel have been going through some things because of the storyline they decided to have hurting his ex-wife, Katie. And he hasn't checked in on her at all either. Right? He's like, I haven't spoken to her since this whole thing blew up. Well, why is that? You know, and that's something that's interesting because a lot of people say, oh, how is, how are Sandoval and Ariana, I mean, sorry, and Raquel going to stay on the show? Uh, is it that they're only going to be able to film with each other and then only be able to film with Schwartz as well? But it appears as though Bambi can't even rely on Schwartz to be a support for her. So she truly is on thin ice here. Sandoval only has Schwartz and Bambi only has Sandoval. So the two of them, their, their position moving forward in this group is very, very, very risky right? Like this is not looking good. I, I can't see the three of them doing trips together or celebrating parties together, just the three of them or anything like that, because it's already weird because uh, Raquel, Rachel was hooking up with shorts before she was hooking up with Sandoval. So the whole thing just does not gel very well. So I am really interested to see how this goes moving forward. I want to know, did anything else jump out from you guys about that interview? Other than the fact that shorts is only only preoccupied with how Tom Sandoval is doing. It's crazy to me, right? Like he he never cared about his ex-wife, Katie, in this capacity. If it were Katie facing something so shocking, Schwartz would not even be like speaking to her if they were still married. He'd be like, yeah, you can handle it on your own. You're a tough girl. But when it comes to his baby, he is there, right? Uh, for the other people, oh, I haven't spoken to them since this all happened. I'm sure they'll be fine. But when it comes to Sandoval, I haven't spoken to him today. Mind you, this was early um, in the morning anyway. So, and he was taking a flight. So obviously he was too busy to be on the phone. But you know that later on that day, he reached out to his boo just to make sure that everything was going well. Honestly, the bromance between those two is one for the books. Let me know what you think about this, you guys, in the comment section down below. And don't forget, every Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I recap the week's episode of Vanderpump Rules. So make sure you join in for that as well. Take care.